Hello friends, in this lecture, I would like to explain another topic that is column analysis and design by using Star Pro Connector software. So here, select new and then give file name as column and store your default location wherever you want to store save your file. Type will be analytical, units will be metric and then create, click create here. So then you will get a default interface like this. So this is your default user interface and then in the geometry select grids, choose beam grid option and then here already in our channel itself I explained so many topics based on the continuous beams, two way slabs, one way slabs, retaining wall. But the beam is a horizontal member, here the column is a vertical member. Therefore I will draw some 4 meters column. So that is 0 to 4 meters in the grid and then to come out of this command, please click escape and then close this grid. See here, this is a vertical member of 4 meters. Then our first step is assign the supports. See here, click the supports and then create the supports. So there will be so many conditions, whether you can choose fixed support, pinner support or roller support. So whatever the support you want, you can select this one. By default, I will select fixed here and then I will assign this fixed support to bottom node and then click assign. See here. One end will be fixed, another end will be free. So there will be so many conditions based on the Eulers. One end fixed, another end will be free. Both ends will be fixed, both ends hinged, fixed and hinged. So like that, whatever the property you want, you can choose for your analysis and design purpose. Next step is properties. So for properties, again click properties and then define the property. So here you will get another dialog box like this. So for beams, we are choosing only rectangular one. There you can if you want you can choose square or rectangular beam but for column you can choose either circular column or else a rectangular column for aesthetic and good appearance you can choose circular column also and the t trapezoidal all these are used for bridges designing also so whatever the column you want you can choose that column only so by default i will go some rectangle around 600 by 400 mm so in the y direction i will give 0 0.6 means which is 600 mm and then again 400 mm means which is 0 0.4 mm and then material will be by default it will be concrete only click add close so assign this property to the column so assign to the selected beams see here it will be highlighted means automatically it will be assigned in the view select 3d rendering view choose here either it will be assigned or not see here So see here, in the 3D rendering view, the column property of around 300 by 400 by 600 in mm. Then our next step is loading conditions. See here in the loading condition, first load case details, click add and again in the dead load. So give the name as dead load, click add, close and again load case details, click add, second one will be live load, load case details. So give name as live load, live load, give name as live load, click add, close. See here again in the dead load, assign the self weight of the structure that is minus one, click add, close. And again in the live load, click add. So here, so remember once, so I am choosing nodal load here. So at the top of the node, I will assign load here. So in the y direction. In the nodal load, node in the y direction, I will give some 100 kilo Newton load. Okay. And then click add here, close here. See here, self weight of the structure assigned to view, assign. And then, so this load, I will select the top node in the select, choose the node cursor, and then select the top node, and then assign this load, particular node, assign to the selected nodes. See here, so in the loading tab, view loading diagram, see here, your load will be assigned. So this is the nodal load, okay, this is axially loaded column, means the load is acting along act on the axis on the column, means exactly along the axis through the centroidal axis. 
but there will be uniaxial bending on a column and biaxial bending on a column so already in the in our playlist rcc i solved both the design purpose manually without using software so what is uniaxial loading means so the moment is applied at a distance x on the x axis or at a distance y or in the y axis means either in x or y the moment will be acting at some distance but what is biaxial distance means the moment will be acting both at a distance at some eccentricity either in x both in x and y axis so what is the difference means i will show you that one see here this is the design in our channel playlist only so a reinforced concrete rectangular column of size 300 by 600 mm is subjected to an axial compressive factor load of 1500 kN and a factored moment of 300 kN moments means the moment is given at distance of some eccentricity either in x axis or in y z direction so only one direction it will be acting some moment so that is comes under the uniaxial column see here this is biaxial column so the reinforcement column of 400 by 600 mm subjected to an axial load of 1600 kilo newton with an ultimate moments of 120 kilo newton meter and 90 kilo newton meter means the moment both along major axis and then minor axis means x axis and y axis it will be acting some moments 120 kilo newton and 90 kilo newton meter so again you see here so this is the diagram which showed the move, the load is acting exactly at the center comes under the axially loaded column so the moment only acting either in x direction or in y direction at some distance means it comes under uniaxial column so here the moment will be acting either some biaxial loading on the column so that is the difference what you have to know so here already i designed this manually for design of rcc purpose if you want you can go and check in our playlist and then move to the topic see here here first i will show how to apply uniaxial load on the column so for that in the live load itself you can go and edit here see here you can apply moment in x direction take some 120 kN meter so if you apply only moment in x direction 120 or else moment in only z direction 120 any one so for example if you remove this one and you can apply moment only in z direction which is 120 so if you apply only any one means it will comes under only under uniaxial bending on the column if you apply moment in x direction it will bend along z direction if you apply moment in z direction means it will bends along x direction first i will show moment only applied in x direction and how it will be then change here see here the moment applied in x direction okay then see the difference if i apply moment in both x and z direction again i will give some 100 km here and then click change see here the moment applied either in from x direction and then y direction and loaded loading is acting exactly on the column axially loaded so here which satisfies this condition so if you want you can see the questions here so short column of particular size axially loaded column of 1600 kN ultimate moments of 120 kN by and 90 kN meter so approximately so in the same model i am showing so in the uniaxial column means only they are giving one moment if you restricted this one either only one moment means that comes under uniaxial so this is the way you can differentiate how to apply how to design axially loaded column how to design uniaxial and how to design biaxial loaded on the column and then our next step is analyze the structure define the commands click all add close and then analysis save the structure see here it will be processing based on the errors we will know 
so there will be zero errors and zero warnings so then go to the design part design part is also same like as beam and any other structures for that choose here design and then concrete here and then code will be indian standard 456 here you have to select the parameters so for that what we have to select means so by default we are selecting characteristic compressive strength of the concrete and again main reinforcement of the column and again secondary reinforcement on the column okay then click ok so you have to parameters so characteristic compressive strength you can choose m20 m25 grade concrete whatever you want 25 into 1000 and fi main will be i am by i am choosing 415 grade so for shear reinforcement at all so it will be starting from 250 which is main steel die of 6 mm so if you want you can choose higher steel 8 mm dia which is hysd bar click add close and then in the commands what you have to choose means here we are designing only column go for design column add and then take off so go de simple design okay for trial and error purpose so fc will be assigned to view we have to assign the entire structure and this fi main also assigned to view entire structure and this fi secondary also assigned to view for the entire structure and then concrete design column will be assigned to view for the entire structure so your analysis also completed and then click analysis define commands add close and then choose an analysis here save the structure see here so there will be zero errors and warnings done so then go to the post processing mode check one by one so here both dead load and live load click apply close see here so check the deflection what is the deflection here then what are the forces acting you can check each and every one movement in x direction movement in z direction see here movement in z direction so movement in x direction will be back side which is opposite is there any movement in y direction you can see this one also okay so you can check one and again forces in x direction forces in y direction forces in z direction so first switch off this x direction so what are the forces acting in x and z direction and then go to the reactions so what are the reactions here so see here the reactions will be this one and again go to the animations so here in the animation select deflection and then click ok see what are the animations here so it will be narrow deflection here so see here if you select a deflection and animation so here based on the load only it will be deflected either in x direction or y direction or else it will be animated also so here i am giving loads will be somewhat lesser so if you increase the loads maybe there is a chances of deflect getting deflections and uh, animations also for that again i will go to the analytical modeling so here the property will be higher 400 by 600 mm so for that uh, you can increase the load also so here in the loading condition load case details go to live load here what are the loads we are choosing in the edit options check here so we are just giving 100 kilo newtons load just for trial purpose so if i increase this one to some 1000 kilo newton and this movement in x direction to some 1200 and in z direction to some 1000 kilo newton meter means then change see here what are the effects takes place for the higher loads so first go to the analysis define commands click all okay and then run analysis save the structure see here there will be zero errors and four warnings so warnings means here if you are observing print analysis print all print all so how many times we are increasing the analysis by trial and error here warnings will be getting no need to problem if you can delete you can delete here also otherwise skip this one then so first check the post processing mode loads will be both dead and live load okay see here automatically it will be the displacements will be happen because we are giving some heavier loads and heavier movements again in the deflection you can check here 
to get uh, some deflection which is just uh, the green color line will come some slightly right side direction and again so which is along the diagonal why because there will be biaxial bending on the column again if you see movements also higher comparing to the previous one both in z direction x direction and again forces in z directions also you can observe clearly so see here this is the axial forces takes place towards x direction then if you want you can check the deflections also animations also so click the animation tab and then in the animation deflection just apply and see here see here click okay automatically the column will be here deflected so last time what happens means we are given some minimum load so for that property it cannot be deflected it can keep stable only but whenever you you are giving somewhat higher load means automatically it can shows the deflected shape you can apply only movement in one direction either in x or z direction means the column takes place only uniaxial bending but here applied movement in both x and z direction therefore it takes place biaxial bending on the column but you can apply only axial loaded column means just it will be deflected some extent it does not bend in either in x direction or in z direction so this is the way how to analyze and design in a column for particular ratios at the same time in the analytical mode you can go and check the concrete design also thank you so much for watching this video if you really like this video please like this video share it to your friends and subscribe our channel thank you so much